This is the Tesla Cybertruck exoskeleton structure. It's one of the few SUVs integrated with a monocoque structure, unlike the Ford F-150. It uses a ladder-on-frame chassis, which is a little heavier, and has its difficulty while making tight turns around the corners. The Cybertruck can also be equipped with several variants, including a single-motor, dual-motor, tri-motor, and an all-wheel drive motor. Some refer to this configuration as a quad-motor setup. This capability allows it to tow up to four cars, making it a strong competitor in its target market segment, comparing it with the likes of the powerful Ram 1500 truck towing capability or its EV rival, the Rivian electric truck. In the upcoming video, we will explore the basic workings of the Tesla synchronous reluctance motor and how it works using permanent magnets. So stay tuned and don't miss a beat. What makes the Cybertruck special? While the Cybertruck features an exoskeleton frame, one of the very few SUVs that have a unibody design. While most SUVs have a ladder frame chassis, as shown in this animation, ladder frame chassis designs tend to be heavier than monocoque or unibody structures, which can have a negative impact on fuel efficiency and handling when traveling at high speed or making sharp turns around the corner. While monocoque structures are typically lighter than ladder frame chassis, which can contribute to better fuel efficiency and handling, especially for bigger SUVs like this Cybertruck. But most importantly, the cost factor comes into play. The exoskeleton frame costs less than a ladder frame chassis. The Tesla Cybertruck can seat five to six people and is presented with this beautiful half aerospace craft steering wheel. Every model will feature a large 16 to 17 inch touchscreen horizontally mounted in the center of the dashboard. It also features bulletproof ultra-strong glass and a polymer-layered composite that can absorb and redirect impact force. Let's see how this bulletproof glass works. It is composed of glass with a polyvinyl interlayer sandwiched between multiple layers. The first layer is the polycarbonate layer located just below the polyvinyl interlayer, and the final layer is glass. When these layers are pressed together, they can withstand a small caliber bullet. When fired at a sheet of bullet-resistant product, the bullet will pierce the outer layer of the glass. However, the layered polycarbonate glass material is capable of absorbing the bullet's energy and stopping it before it exits the final layer. The Tesla Cybertruck will be able to pull that with its powerful electric motors. It has many variants, can be fitted with a single motor, a dual motor, a tri-motor, and an all-wheel drive motor, or some call this a quad motor. All that energy is transferred from this battery pack located at the base of the frame and transferred to all these four motors. This is Tesla's latest motor featuring a unique arrangement of magnets as demonstrated in this model. These are the basic parts. Number one, the stator is a stationary part of the motor and contains coils of wire, windings that are connected to the AC power supply. Number two, the rotor is the rotating part of the motor. It's typically made of laminated steel sheets and is designed with alternating regions of low and high reluctance, which enable it to interact with the rotating magnetic field generated by the stator. Number three, and finally the magnets as discussed earlier. This is how it works. Tesla's synchronous reluctance motor, SRM, is designed to improve efficiency and performance. It operates by synchronizing the rotor's position with the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator, leveraging the reluctance effect to generate torque and rotation while maximizing energy efficiency. This, in turn, drives the gear shaft, turning the wheels of this cyber truck, enabling it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Moving to the back is the remote-controlled tailgate that can open just as demonstrated in the animations, revealing this cyber truck's bed, which is 6.5 feet long and offers 100 cubic feet of storage capacity. It can carry tools and equipment and can also be used as a camping spot. Since it doesn't have an engine, it can also have storage space at the front, which was one of the major advantages for most of the electric cars. Let's take a look at its specifications. The Cybertruck features a length of 19.3 feet, positioning it as one of the larger pickups in the market. With a width of 6.65 feet, the Cybertruck commands a strong road presence and has a height of 6.25 feet. While the body of the truck is made of scratch-resistant stainless steel, making the total weight of the vehicle an impressive 5,000 pounds or 2,267 kilograms. Let's compare this to a person to understand its size, as you can see it's huge. Even better, let's compare it to its counterparts. 
This is the Rivian truck, an electric vehicle. Moving forward, we have the F-150 pickup truck, which is slightly longer by a mere 0.5 feet. On the side, we have the Ram 1500 truck, which is longer than the F-150, and the last one is the Toyota Tundra. As you can see, it's almost the same size as the other SUVs in its market segment. The Tesla Cybertruck, when equipped with a third motor, will feature an impressive towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, which is equivalent to carrying up to four cars as shown in this animations. In contrast, the Ram 1500 with a Hemi V8 engine boasts a towing capacity of up to 12,750 pounds, akin to towing three cars. Looking forward, the Ford F-150 pickup truck offers a maximum towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, allowing it to tow as many as four cars simultaneously. And finally, the Toyota Tundra and Rivian electric truck has a towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. Both are capable of towing three cars when attached to a trailer as shown here. Also, just a reminder, these data and towing capacity are all taken from the respective companies which are publicly available. We make original animation videos just like this Attack Cargo 130 gunship in Blender software. Support us by subscribing and hitting the bell icons for more engineering videos to come.